everyone welcome back to my channel so let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know um when i was doing your pre-shuffle i heard someone feels like you're holding back and ignoring them and it's getting ridiculous like they they've had enough of it it's not making sense to them because i feel like this person doesn't know whether um you want it to be over for good or if you're just being stubborn i'm hearing let's just talk about this let's figure it out I'm also feeling like somebody is full of crap here because it was okay for them to hold back on you when they wanted to. But now that you're um, giving this person a taste of their own medicine, now it's an issue. All right, let's get... Uh -huh. Some of you are an Aries or you're dealing with an Aries that walked away from you. So we have long game missing you very much not the same without you wanting to reconcile the universe is saying trust your gut if something doesn't feel right trust it you know more than you think you know and this person walked away we have leaving someone behind an aries energy so either an aries walked away from you or you are the aries and you're holding back from this person some of you may be trying to teach this person a lesson Yeah, you're trying to heal. That's what it is. We have within a few days in Chiron, healing souls and wounds, pains, cleansing, spiritual growth. You're wounded. Some of you will feel wounded like this person's crying or you're like, um, that's been helping you heal. Like, I feel like you've been crying. You've been getting something out. I feel like some of you, your emotions have been all over the place. The universe is saying within a few days, you're going to hear from this person, whether you get a text message or a phone call, or they reach out to you on social media in some type of way. The only way this person can't reach out to you is if you've blocked them, but I feel like they may still try like another way, um, possibly through someone else's phone or text free app. We have fulfilling a fantasy. Some of you may work at a strip club or this person likes to frequent strip clubs. We have new beginning. Let's forget about the past and take a chance and start again. We also have Libra energy. So some of you could be dealing with the Libra or you are a Libra. It says a new start. First phase is look ahead. Pay attention to new people opportunities and experiences that the universe puts in your path with the new moon some of you may not want this person back okay so we have taurus energy coming up right after that so some of you could be a libra dealing with a taurus um we have libra energy here aries and taurus somebody is going to want one last chance or they've already told you this and maybe you you're undecided about what you want to do Now we have Leo energy coming out. Leo energy always comes out. Um, all right. So I'm picking up Libra, Leo energy here where someone's going to want a second chance with you, but you're not sure if you want to restart this because you feel like this person hasn't changed. You feel like they only want you back because you're ignoring them. And I feel like some of you are going to continue to ignore this person, but that's only going to make this person chase you or try their hardest to get you to talk because we have third quarter here at the bottom of the deck and the third quarter is all about forgiveness, contemplation, thinking about whether you want to change. Somebody may come back and try to guilt trip you, like try to make it seem like things were your fault or um, that you guys could have talked a long time ago, but you held back from them. Also, this person may tell you that they miss you sexually. But we have still holding on to each other. Love offer. Some of you are holding back and you're being stubborn from this person because you're tired of being strung along. You thought this person was stringing you along, possibly third party energy here. 
And so you're deciding not to talk. But they want to know, is your heart still open to accept their love offer? Or are you really done with them? I feel like this person wants you to actually tell them, like, yeah, this is done. You know, don't call me anymore. But they feel like you, somebody feels like you still want this. I'm also picking up the energy that some of you are dealing with the Leo. You could be a Taurus dealing with the Leo. And you feel like this person plays games. They come back. Just to make sure you're available, that you still want them, and then they're off again. Oh, okay. Somebody misses you. I gotta cover up this word. They're miserable. They may be with this person may live with someone else. They could be married or just live with someone else and they miss you. We have miserable as F. So they're miserable with this other person. I feel like this person thinks about you a lot at night when they're sleeping. They may be sleeping right next to someone thinking about you. Yeah, there's heavy flirting. This person may try to flirt with you, um, do a text message or a sex text you. Or they could be doing this with someone else. If they're doing this with someone else, I feel like the only reason why is because you won't talk to them. And so they're trying to get this attention from someone else, but they're missing you. We have no respect, hard to read, not talking. Yep. See, this is this is the reason. This is the reason why you're not talking to this person. And this is the reason why they're in their head and they could be stalking you. Because you feel disrespected. You're like, there are times when you feel disrespected by this person. And you're like, I'm not willing to put up with that anymore. And this person didn't think that you were going to pull back from them. And they confuse you. They give you mixed signals about what they want. So you shut down on them. And now they're in their head about you. Because you shut down. Because you're not saying anything. So they want to know what's going on with you. Who's keeping you from them? They feel like somebody is um, causing you to not talk to them. Like they feel like there's someone in your life that you're getting attention from. And that's why you're not talking to them. Okay. Yep. This person's angry. Look at this. Somebody, somebody is sexually hooked on you. They're angry. We have unsent messages. I've written you several texts, but in the end, I chicken out. And then we have intense sexual chemistry, sexually hooked. So they don't want, you know what it is? For some of you, this person don't want you sleeping with somebody else. That's what they feel. They feel like, okay, I can't. <laughs> Instead of them just realizing, like, they didn't treat you right. So that's why you're not talking. We have not over. We have case of the ex and second chance. Yeah, some of you could be dealing with the... Uh, these cards are sliding out of my hand. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn who wants a second chance with you. Universe is saying, wait it out. Things may be rough for a bit, but the storm will pass. And I miss you. Could we start over? But I feel like for some of you, they feel like someone else has your attention or you're sleeping with someone else. Because this is how you are with this person. Unbothered. Because you feel like this person is a liar. We have pathological liar. They lied to you on a regular basis. And you felt like, okay, no more lies here. I'm letting you go. Feeling guilty, remorseful, wanting to undo the damage. So this person's having a lot of regret here. And we have unexpected events. Expect the unexpected. Something you don't see coming is soon to change a door that was closed will now open so someone feels like okay well if you're not talking to them then they're gonna have to reach out because you're not saying anything and they don't like this silence somebody this silence is bothering the hell out of them they're not used to you being silent and not talking to them wake up call you have judgment you have scorpio For somebody's watching you with the page of swords they have their eye on you big time could be a younger air sign a libra gemini or an aquarius yep six of cups with the ace of swords 
This person's intentions is to come back in after walking away. Look, like right there in the corner, how that person walked away. And now they're having nostalgic feelings. They're having all these memories of what used to be. I feel like they could be looking at pictures or old text messages at the bottom of the deck as a tower. So this is what caused it all. This is what caused you not to talk to this person or to shut down on them. I feel like you guys may have gotten into an argument. And it just happened out of the blue, like you didn't see it coming. Maybe you guys were just having a conversation and one thing led to another or something was said. And some of you I'm picking up um, with these two major arcanas here, I'm picking up Scorpio and Aries. So you could be a Scorpio dealing with an Aries and this happened. You have the Eight of Cups reversed. The two of cups, yep, and look at that. The eight of wands. This person don't want this person don't want to fight anymore. And when the moon here, so we have Pisces energy. Somebody don't want to fight with you anymore. But they are definitely feeling like you're being sneaky. They feel like things are being hit. You're hiding your emotions, your feelings, or you're hiding something from them. You may feel like this person was hiding something from you too. And you like the nerve of you. Like, that's the reason why I'm not talking to you. Because you're always hiding something. All right, so you have the nine of swords. You got somebody losing sleep. Or you're giving this person some anxiety. They're stressed out. All right, so for some of you, this could be the king of swords, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius that's stressed out over you. I tell you one thing, this person is good at hiding their feelings and they try to act unemotional, but they're very emotional about the situation. They just put up a good front here. For some of you, this, I don't know why I'm picking up Gemini energy. You feel like one minute this person wants to come in and love you to death and then the next minute they're pushing you away. So we have the two of pentacles. The Eight of Swords, the Three of Wands. Yeah, somebody's waiting on you. And they're going to continue to wait. But I do see that this person is changing their energy here. They're realizing that something is their fault. I okay, this person, um, they have some time to think about what they've done to you, how they disappointed you with this Three of Swords and this Five of Pentacles. This person is coming in. They're changing their attitude. They're not coming in with this normal energy ego prideful you know it's my way or the highway it's all about me you were wrong i was right like that type of energy they're changing that they're not coming towards you with that anymore because they know coming towards you with that energy you're not gonna talk to them so we do have the magician here we have a gemini or a virgo that's coming towards you okay third party energy here this person could have somebody else on the side and you know about it and they keep denying it they keep lying about the situation, telling you that they want you, they want their relationship, but they're not acting like it. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups with the star. Yeah, a lot of healing energy here after this person was being sneaky. But again, with the Seven of Pentacles, they've been thinking about the situation. See, they already invested in this and they don't feel like it makes sense for them to walk away and give you up. And then you go to someone else and you treat this person, you treat this other person like you were treating them. They know how good they had it. And now they're missing that. I feel like somebody snuck away from you. You could be a, um, a Virgo dealing with an Aquarius that wants your attention, but they're hiding it. They can't hide it for long. This person know they were wrong. Somebody knows that they were wrong. Take your heart resonates. But we have the Knight of Cups here. Somebody's coming back doing a walk of shame. <laughs> Look at the horse's head is down. Like they can't really, like they know they got to face you, right? But they don't know um, what they're going to be dealing with. They don't know how your attitude is going to be. You know, keep in mind the Knight of Cups, they're either coming out of battle or going into battle. It looks like this person is wanting to come out of battle here. 
wanting to come out of this war, but they know they have to face you and make things right. And I feel like they are willing with the star card here. They want to heal the situation. They still have hope in this. They're, they're still hanging on to faith, like that this is going to work out. Now, I don't know how you feel about this. You may be like, mm, I don't think so, because it depends on who you know whoever was hurt. The person that was hurt is always, you know, the person that's going to be like, well, I'm not in a rush to take you back because you hurt me. All right, let's get one more. All right, so the universe said three more. So we have the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Five of Cups. There's a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn who's now realizing their happiness lies with you. And they have a lot of regret about this situation with the Five of Cups coming out here twice. I thought this person's going to tell you how much they miss you or how much you mean to them. And that if you're not in their life, they're not going to be happy. They know, they know where their happiness lies. I won't even say now. They don't, it's not like they know that now. I thought this person's always known that, but they played around so much and they never thought that you were going to walk away from this or that you were going to turn your back on them. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.